Now, having said that, I I see a lot of young Africans everywhere on social media, let's say on Facebook, for example, talking history. Yeah. Now, for me, history is interesting because it shows how human beings were living for thousands of years and looking at the way we are today, there's a lot of different, tremendous difference. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Now, that's for me, history, history is for us to learn from the past. Yes. Okay. And also, history can bind you to the past. That's correct. Okay. I love history. Yes. Well, one thing I've noticed, one thing I've noticed, we as Africans, we are, see, we are binding ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's not his, the history binding us. Yeah. We are binding, binding ourselves to history. We don't okay. want, we don't want to let it go. Okay. Um, and that's this, where, that, that's where I'm, I'm scared. This is what this is why I disagree with you. Okay, very good. This this is this is my point. I believe the African history isn't talked about much. Yes. And and it's most of the things that we, we we've heard that is African history are all lies. For instance, when you go to school and they teach you that Mongo Park discovered uh, 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 River Niger. Come on, brother. That's that's a big that that's 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 nonsense. Okay, you understand because as as late as uh, as as late as fifteenth uh, century, Leo Africanus was talking about how the people in West Africa were sailing on the Niger River. Okay. So when you put it in our educational system that a certain Mongo Park, who Mongo Park was born in seventeen seventy one. And, and here is Leo Africanus talking about Africans sailing on the Niger River in the, in the, in the 15th century. Mongo Park was not born. Yeah. And then we've been miseducated okay. into thinking that, and we didn't know what, uh, but let me, let me make a quote from uh, something that, uh, uh, from a book, uh, King Leopold's Ghost by Adam Hotschild. Hush, uh, okay. I quote him, and to those who have lived in Africa for millennia, of course, there was nothing to discover. We were here all the time, but to the 19th century Europeans, celebrating an explorer for discovering some new corners of Africa was psychologically a prelude to feeling that the continent was theirs for the taking. Okay. So these are, the, these are some of the things that made some Africans believe that our ancestors did nothing. They never sailed to anywhere apart from this continent. And these are all lies that no. these Europeans oh, propagated. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Nana. See, yeah. when we say it's all lies, yeah, it's it can be con contested. Now, okay. it, we can say we don't believe that Monko Park discovered. Okay. Yeah. Now, now I I I I I get you. I get you very well. Mm -hmm. But also, I get the language of him discovering River Niger. Yeah. Because, one, see, during the European exploration, yeah. what Mongo Park did for the Niger is that mm -hmm. he went from one end to the other. And this is, this is exactly hold, hold what on, I Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, has anybody ever gone from end to end? Exactly the point uh, Adam Postchard was saying. We are living here. So, 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 it's, so uh, let's let's use your your home your home for an example. Yeah, it, it's your home. You've been you've been to every corner of your home. No, that, 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 that's not true. No, that's not true. 
Okay, so you haven't been to every corner of your home. No, I, I'm looking at the Niger. Okay, no, the, peop no, the people I'm at uh, Mount uh, Futajaro and mm -hmm. the ones at the at the at the Delta mm -hmm. in uh, southern Nigeria mm -hmm. don't even know each other. What makes you think they don't know each other? Okay, because Africans were see uh, traveling on the rivers was part uh, was a mode of traveling in yes. in the medieval times. Yeah. And, and, and people were people were trading um, ivory and all these stuff. They moved goose on these rivers. Yes. See, the fact that we didn't talk about it, the fact that we didn't write about it, doesn't mean that our ancestors or the people that lived in that era didn't do it. That is why I was no. using your home, your home as an example. Mm. See, you've been to all the corners of your home. You don't need to tell anybody that, okay, uh, this is... This is this corner is here. This this because that's your home. Yeah. Then somebody comes to your home and start exploring every corner and said, "I've discovered the end of your home." No, I see. I see, again. I again. Nana, I understand words, your argument. Man. Sorry for my words, but no, 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 no. Come on. <laughs> see, I understand your your argument, but yeah. see. So Adam Hostad was saying this. We, we that, that live on this continent, we don't have to discover anything because this is what we live. This is, this is our life. We yes. travel on yes. the river. We build cities around the rivers. Yes. The Nok civilization, the Nok civilization was built on the Niger River. Yes. Nobody can convince me that the people that built the Nok civilization around the Niger River, they didn't travel on the Niger River. No, 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 no. See, see, uh, I'm sure, and I'm sure if uh, if 